Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel here. Um, so what we got on the bench today is a DJI uh, F450 flame wheel and this has the uh, NASA M light in it. So you can see we've got the GPS puck up on top here and if you can see right down in there there is the uh, NASA M light. So I'm getting this set up for a friend of mine and uh, he wanted to use his uh, free sky controller and this used to be my free sky controller but I sold it to him. Um, this is actually the Turnigy 9X that has the uh, free sky module in the back here and it's been flashed over with the uh, ER9X uh, firmware so it uh, runs on the uh, Free Sky Tyrannus and all that stuff. Um, so what we did because I I, I hooked him up with the uh, whole receiver setup. So we've got the four channel uh, Free Sky receiver on it, and so we've got this whole thing set up CPPM um, just to lighten up the weight a little bit, so we're not running a uh, Oh shoot, we're not running a big bulky transmitter with a bunch of jumpers. Um, we've got one wire running into the uh, the, NA, the NASA uh, control board. And then we have the, uh, this is a really easy, easy build. So, I don't know how well you can see this, but we've got one wire running into the X1 port here on the NASA. Um, and then we have the lead right here running out to the uh, oh what the hell is this thing called again visual something something this, uh, this module right here this is how we hook up to the the computer up to the NASA board um, and then we also have the GPS module plugged into the NASA so it's it's really quite a simple build um, and to put together uh, the hardest part of this whole system this whole build is actually setting up uh, this guy just for the simple fact that you have so many uh, you have five different things that you can set up actually I think you have like seven um, but your all three flight mode switches your fail safe um, your IOC intelligent orientation control I believe is what it's called um, and then your you have a gimbal set up the your gimbal pitch control that you can set up. You have a, a remote gain adjustment, all that stuff that you can set up on the uh, NASA board um, via the NASA assistant, which is on your computer. Um, and so the, the the hardest part is actually getting in into the transmitter and and setting everything up. So I'm going to take you inside. And we're going to hop on the computer real quick, and we're going to go through the setup for the Turnigy 9X, ER9X um, mix setup. Okay, so we've got the 450 hooked up to the computer via the micro USB port. We're going to go ahead and power on the quad. Okay, now we've set the multi-rotor aside, the, the 450 aside, because we don't need to be interacting directly with it. This is the NASA M Light Assistant, and this is your first tab, your view. Let me adjust this real quick. Okay. This gives you all of your... Uh, your quick overview, so your your mounting location, your mixer type, your receiver type, and we are going to be using the PPM. Uh, your motor idle speed. This is all your your fail safe. Uh, what this is set for: the go home and landing, uh, return to home, or return to China. Intelligent orientation control. Your gimbal switch. Your battery voltage. All this stuff. So you can see right now our current battery voltage is 12.03 volts. 
we're running it on a 3S LiPo and your different levels of protection here. You also have over here your channel monitor, aileron elevator throttle rudder, the U which is actually your uh, flight control mode, X1 which I believe can either be uh, gimbal or your um, your gain, your remote gain, and which is right here. You can set your gains, um, your for your your basic, your pitch roll, yaw, vertical, and then your attitude for roll and or pitch and roll. And this is the switch for the remote gain control. Um, and you can set this for X1 or X2. Going over to the basic, the aircraft type where you can select your different aircraft. Um, so your quad plus, quad X, hex plus, hex X, or V, I, I or V, um, your IY and your Y setup. Your mounting, you will adjust your, your X, Y axis. Um, as to being off-center from the center of gravity. Your RC. Now this is what we're really going to get into here. And this is where we're going to start making our adjustments on the, uh, the ER9X. Okay, now you can see that we have the controller on. And you can see that as I'm right now, I'm moving the rudder throttle, or the rudder <coughs> stick back and forth. Okay, throttle, aileron elevator, and you can see that I have my mixes programmed up here. So this is my flight control mode switch. And you see I'm running from GPS to attitude to manual, and then my switch right here is my fail safe and it doesn't matter which mode that I'm in it will always kick it to fail safe now the way we set this up is we go into menu we select our GGIF 450 kick over and we have some some settings here that we can play with um, timer trigger all that stuff name it now we're going to go over to our mixer mode which is menu 5 and we want the first thing that we want to make sure is we want to make sure that our channels 1 through 4 are aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder and we do that by going in to click menu click edit and then we can go to our source and we can change that so aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder throttle and rudder now we go down channel 5 which is uh, which one did I set that at okay channel 5 which is X1 um, and because we're we're uh, running the free sky in with PPM um, we can't really change that um, we could change and we we just do them right here okay so channel 5 which is X1 we have on the knob, so we go in, and we're going to edit that. We have our source, and we actually have that up here as P3, which is potentiometer 3. And on the top of you have P1, P2, and P3. So we have that as our P3, and we actually want that in here as 100. And you can scroll those around with that P3 knob. Um, you can change the values of those. Um, so we're going to we're going to keep that at 100. And that's it. Channel six, which is. Our gear switch up here and you can see that when I flip this switch X2 changes and now the way we have X2 set up 
is on the advanced screen for our intelligent orientation control. With that switch up, it's off. And when we flip it down, it changes over to course lock. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go down to channel 6. And we've already added it, but we're going to go ahead and go into edit. Source equals full. Weight is minus 80 and the offset is minus 95. And then we go down to, I passed it, our switch. We want that on the gear switch right here. Okay, so far it's been fairly easy. Um, this is where it's going to get a little bit more difficult. This is where we're actually going to start programming in our flight modes and our failsafe. So we'll switch back over to basic here, and you can see that we have our control mode switch set up right here. Okay, this is going to be channel 7. And channel 7, this is going to require the most amount of mixing. Um, our first mix, which is right here, we're just going to go in and edit, and I'll show you the settings on these. Um, our source is going to be full. Weight, which is basically your, where your um, endpoint would be, is going to be 68. Then we're going to go down. Switch. Now switch is ID0. And the ID switch is right here. This is your three position switch. ID zero is the off position all the way up. So we're going to have ID zero there. Then we're going to go back. Now to get these pluses right here, you are going to hold, sorry. menu switch and you're going to go in and insert and insert is going to create another mix within that channel so now the second one that we did which is actually this one here this is the second full weight 35 offset 107 switch ID 1 that is going to set your attitude mode The second, or the third, sorry, mix is going to be this one here. Once again, full, weight two, offset zero, and your switch is going to be ID two. Now you have the position of all the way down on your flight mode switch, which is going to bring you into manual mode. The last mix for channel 7 is actually going to be your failsafe. If you notice, every time I switch through, we go to GPS, attitude, and manual, but we skip the failsafes. Well, we want to be able to hit those failsafes as well. So, what we did here, go in, we have full, we have a weight of 3, offset of 0. And we actually went in and we went to exclamation aileron, which is if you go into set a switch, you normally have switch here, or you have the three dashes. If you go right, this is basically your positives. If you go left, these are your reverse throws on those switches. So exclamation aileron is down on the aileron dual rate switch here. Now what that does is it doesn't matter which mode that we're in, it will kick that down to fail safe every time. Now that you've got your transmitter set up, you're going to want to go ahead and you've already made sure that the, the uh, flight modes um, hit each spot on the NASA light assistant. Um, 
but you're going to want to make sure that the light on your uh, on your multi rotor actually lights up to the right um, color, I guess here. So in our GPS mode, she is a blinking green. We switch it down to attitude mode and she'll change to orange. Then when we switch to manual, it actually goes out. There is no light for manual mode. And then when we kick back our fail safe, we go to a rapid flash of orange. Uh, so that's our three flight modes plus our fail safe mode setting up for the uh, Turner T9X with the ER9X uh, firmware installed on it. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, go ahead and click subscribe up here. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much for watching.